today I'm going to be drawing a cartoon raccoon. So we always start with a circle. And I'm enjoying this this kind of like mini series of, of drawing different animals because I'm picking animals I've never drawn before and, and kind of seeing how I would approach them. Now to me, if I look at a, a raccoon, they've actually got this kind of uh, feeling to them. This kind of like squashed, almost like diamond shape, I guess. We've got this kind of like look. This kind of thing going on. But what I'm going to do, I mean, that's completely off center and stuff, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick more to the cute circle based stuff that we've been doing the last few videos from and see what kind of thing I can get from it. Or maybe. Um, if I don't like it, we can we can always do one that's based more triangular. Now, what I'm going to do is they've got a lot of stuff going on around the eyes. There's this cool Ninja Turtles mask thing going on. So what I'm going to do is put the eye line down low. So we've got a circle. This this first line that I drew here, this was the center line. So this is imagining the center of the ball rotated, and this down here is is where the eyes are going to around here somewhere. Right, so I'm going to stick some big eyes in like this. Just a little bit higher. Like so. Then they've got like more of a a kind of point to their uh, their muzzle, I guess you would definitely call it because that's what it is. But So it kind of comes out Let's go down and flick it up again. Just to add a little bit more character to it. Come to a little bit of a point. Let's go round. In fact, let's add this bit in here. So it's kind of like a, a cone. If we were to look at it from the top down, like a bird's eye view. Obviously, the nose is here and it's like a cone. So what we need to do is really get that feeling of a, of a triangle. But we need this bottom bit to feel like it's actually attached. So let's come out and round. Let's just put a cute little smile. So it's going to be like a baby raccoon. So it's got this kind of thing. Then that's going to come out. Let's add a little smile in there. It's a little baby, so it's not going to have a massive mouth or anything like that. Then bring that round. Then the nose on a raccoon is uh, it's kind of just a standard shape like that from the front. So what we'll do is we're going to add that on like this. So that's like it's just a triangle that's with the rounded off edges. And because we're looking at it from this kind of view, the triangle is going to be more like that way. We can see more of this side because we're actually looking at it like this. So let's add that on. Like so. You can, I mean, you can add a highlight or anything like that on it. So we've got that. And maybe a little bit thicker. Something like that. These videos are just fun. They're kind of to see how I would approach character design off the cuff with no real reference or anything, it's kind of just how I think of, of the animal. Right, so we've got this, then let's add the... So we've got this pattern here, so let's just join this onto here. Now, before when I said, when I think of them, I think of them as like this kite shape with their, their nose on here, kind of thing like that, with these spiky bits. We kind of got these funny hair bits like that. So that's what we're going to try and add in. So we're going to come in. Well, actually, it's good to always draw guides first before you go in and trying to create like spike things like this. If, if you've got some guides first, like this, then you're mu much more likely, if you just chop into them like this, you're much more likely to actually get them looking right. Just 
much, that, that kind of thing. Like I say, they're just, just a fun kind of uh, little decoration, I guess. So let's go about adding in the cool Ninja Turtles mask. So we can follow that round. We're basically, we're just trying to figure out the the kind of shape of the eyes and we're tracing them around but in perspective so it will come thicker here obviously because it's closer to us than here where it's going to be it's going to be very thin around here now they're just going to come around and attach maybe under the eyes or so now we are just doing graphic representations of the of a raccoon so don't worry too much about getting anything spot on. So let's add in these eyeballs like so. There we go. So we've got this kind of look to it. Now the eyebrows would probably be on this kind of mask thing here so we can just ignore them because we've got the, the whole Ninja Turtles Robin mask thing going on. So you're going to see more of that part there that comes up then they have like a an extra pattern on the outside which is more of like a if if we're talking about different values then let's say the the skin is like this color like around the skin sorry the fair then we've got the the black detail which goes down the middle that little ninja turtles mask but then there's like a a kind of nice little white bit in between of them which I'm going to stylize again just just a little bit so let's let's just follow this and then we could maybe with this mask this original black one let's bend that round here like this it's all pointing towards this area here and then what we'll do is We'll attach that white bit on. So this just follows on and around. Then curls out. Something like that, I'd, I'd say. Just to kind of give a cool little uh, motif, I guess. And that would follow around. Probably be a bit higher. Like that. It's going to have that kind of look to it. Then, what else do they have? So all this area here is black. What I'll do at the end is I'll do a real quick inking of the thing. So you can see what it'd look like inked. I've not done any tutorials on inking. If you want to see tutorials on inking, just leave a comment below. So all this area is, is kind of black. Now let's actually, let's add the, the pattern in here at this side. So it's going to come out flick round flick round so all we're doing is we're just following that little guide triangle thing that we kind of put in there so we've got that kind of thing then we need the ears now what I've done is I've not left much as of a gap here so let's dim this a little bit and probably best to put the ears in before this final little um, final little uh, decoration so just kind of standard shape so it's just a triangle but all we're doing is we're adding a little bit of a curve to it like that so we've got in that in here now there would be all fair coming up and, and around and all this kind of stuff so we can hint to that a little bit so we're going to go to a bit of a point come around and tuck in then we're going to, so we've got this fair here, so what we'll do is we'll kind of make it so it all comes out of the fair. Then we want the uh, location closest to the middle part of the skull to be black. So we're kind of doing that and what we'll do is we'll make it so the outline of here is it's going to be a bit thicker, like it's uh, got fair. So all of this is in black, like so. Then, 
get that more of a point. Uh, then we've got the same at the other side. So the actual raccoon, it looks like it's got a a bit of like a superhero a costume thing going on, thinking about it. So we're looking at from this side, so the, the ear's going to appear more like this. So we've got that. It's got like a, yeah, like I said, kind of superhero costume thing going on, which I kind of like. So it's got like the mask, then it's got these like little horns, which are clearly ears, but we've kind of just got this little horn feel to them. So let's just make this decoration a little bit thinner, the white one, because the black one's the, the funnier one, in my opinion. So we'll just wrap around there like that. Really want it to feel like it's wrapping around. So it's coming down and around. Then let's add um, like this, and we can do the same again with just some fun little bits of hair. Like so. So there we have a kind of cool raccoon. So what I'll do is, as you can see now, I'm just finishing the inking for the video. This is just... Um, just a very quick ink. It's not supposed to be something that's ever going to be seen or used in anything. It's, it's just so you can see a little better how the thing's going to look eventually. And if anyone draws this, I mean, send me send me a copy. You can add me on Twitter at Ace Connell, A C E C O N N E L L. And uh, yeah, just just check me out on there, and and you can. Uh, send, send me your work that that you do. I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to see it. So yeah. So there's a kind of cute baby raccoon. I've done a tiny, tiny little bit of colour, but I've not done any like over shading or anything like that. It's just to signify the different value changes. Right. So if you've liked this, please tickle my down below's. Click the like button down there and the subscribe button. And I've got tons of videos on cartoon construction and loads that are coming out in the future. I've got perspective videos, coloring videos. I'll maybe do inking videos if people want them. And you can get them by clicking the subscribe button. And there will be a link in the description to a playlist with, playlist with different cartoon construction drawings in like this one. So take care, have an awesome week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.